If you make your own fishing lures, you already know what a lure turner is, most probably. But if you don't, it's uh, it's a machine that will keep your lure rotating while you're applying while you're applying uh, the epoxy clear coat. And the way it works is that I have a motor here. I'll make sure to uh, include the name or the model in the description. And attached to it, um, I have this part here, this plastic part that also has a screw. It acts like a screw and has a small indentation here to hold the lure. And I also have a similar part here um, that's attached to a ball bearing that is meant to go uh, here. Also, I have this uh, screw in the middle here. And when I unscrew this, it allows me to decrease and increase the length uh, between the two parts uh, depending on the size of the loop. Now I designed this and printed it a couple of months ago and uh, there are a couple of issues uh, with it and that's why uh, we're gonna fix these issues today in a new version. Also I'm gonna upload uh, all the models to printables so you guys can download them in case you have a printer and you want to make your own. Now let's talk about the issues. The first issue is that I made it too long, uh, so it does not support uh, small lures. Uh, I think it only supports uh, like 15 to 16 centimeter lures and above. So if I make like a 10 centimeter lure, it will not work. And that's why today we're gonna make it uh, a bit smaller, but it's also gonna be uh, extendable. Now the second issue with it is it's named uh, after my old channel. So today I'm gonna like include uh, the new logo for my new channel. Also this uh, screw right here, since it's metal, it's creating indents uh, in the upper part and causing it to degrade. So the new one is gonna have a plastic screw and a bit bigger so I can screw it and unscrew it with my hand. No need for a screwdriver. And when I modeled this, uh, I overdid the size of the holes for the nuts so it doesn't look that great. Also, when I did this part right here, I made it of uh, two pieces. As you can see, there's a small screw in the middle that connects the two pieces and the nut on the other side. I found out that with use and time, these two would actually uh, come off and it would become wobbly. So in the new version, it's gonna be a one piece, uh, no screws, no nuts. I'm gonna show you how, how you can embed bearings and nuts in a 3D print so you don't have to uh, assemble any parts. A couple more things that I wanted to talk about. First of all, uh, this is double-sided and the reason uh, I made it this way is uh, in the future I'm planning on um, making this accept more than one lure at a time. So uh, it's going to be rotating from this side and uh, the other side at the same time so it can hold two or more lures. Uh, another thing is this part at the moment is uh, a bit big. Um, I need to make it uh, slimmer uh, so that it doesn't affect um, the lure. Like for example, if we have a lure that has a lip like this one, um, at the moment it's gonna hit the lip and this will ruin the clear coat. So this is something else that we need to fix. Also, this is a bit, uh, a bit wobbly, it's not tight. I need to reduce the tolerance on this one. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna fix all of these and then print our new parts. Let's jump to my computer and I'm gonna show you all the changes that I have made so far. Okay, here I have the model opened in Fusion 360. As you can see, it's uh, smaller now. It's actually four centimeters uh, smaller. And uh, again, regarding these uh, two screws here, uh, the future plan is to uh, make this uh, go double ways. So um, it's gonna also get attached to another part here at the end that will allow me to operate two or more lures at the same time using the same motor. Now uh, if you notice uh, there's one part missing 
and I haven't modeled it yet and it's gonna be the nut that's gonna be attached to uh, these screws all these uh, three screws are identical so the same part will be printed multiple times and if you look here here is where we used to have the old uh, hole for the nut and now it's gone and the reason for that is the nut now lives inside the model it's embedded inside of it so this is where the nut is gonna be um, so I'm gonna have to pause the printer when it reaches uh, this point insert the nut into its place and then continue the print and the nut will be embedded inside the plastic part and I did the same uh, for the motor as you can see the nut is gonna be embedded inside the plastic part and will not be visible uh, from the outside so all that's left to do now is to model the nut that's gonna get attached here and hold the lure and uh, then we're gonna print all the parts and sample the machine I have uploaded all the files to printables, I will include the link in the description in case you want to download them and print the model yourself or you have a friend that can print them for you. Thank you for watching the video till the end, subscribe and like to get more videos in the future.